Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video by Dion Talks Finance. You can't save when you don't have a lot of money. You are not magically going to learn how to save when you start making more money. Kirby, we've said this often, all the time, that saving money and investing, financial literacy, financial education habits, it's all habits. It's, it's how you are with money. It doesn't matter how much you make. It's not an income problem. It's a you problem. Dave Ramsey says it a lot. If you make more money, the chances are your lifestyle will be inflated. You'll have the tendency to spend more money. We've seen this with uh, people that we know personally. I can say that I've seen this hand to hand with other people. And it's, it's a very real thing. I mean, it's what most people do. It's not common for someone to make more money and reserve that capital for themselves for their retirement for their future it's common that they make more money and then they spend more money they go on more vacations they buy more clothes they buy nicer furniture and such and such so but what are your thoughts on this video well i always i always tell this to my army buddies um we talk finance uh, every now and then i always tell it say this exact thing to my army buddies Remember when we was E1s and we was making $600 a month in the military and the barracks and we were scraping together $20 to get a case of beer? Who's broke? And then further on down the line, we got promoted to higher ranks, higher ranks meaning higher pay. But then we up there at E5, E6, and we're still scraping together money to buy a case of beer. So is they don't have an income problem. I always tell them, we don't have an income problem. We have a spending problem. And they sit there and they, because everybody's added to thinking is, oh, if I just made more money, I'll save. But just in that demonstration right there, we made more money. We didn't save. Lifestyle creep happens. You made more money, so you think you should have more things. So when Dion talks, and I like Dion's content and stuff like that, because he makes sensible statements and bring just bare bones sense to finance I, that's why i love his content that he that he uh provides out there like he talks about you don't need a 100 rentals to become financially free you only need like five to ten of them pay get them paid off and you're financially free just simple things like that and it's contrary to what you see in the rest of the social media world where everybody's you know saying oh you need 100 rentals you need a thousand doors uh, you need to keep on leveraging, making more money, making more money. That's how that's how you get rich. No, if you just stop spending. And that's something that I learned later in life. I didn't learn this until I was 28. You know, I had to, you know, get promoted in the military, then go back down to zero, making less than what I was making as an E1 before I realized the problem is not my income. My problem is me because every dollar I get, I spent. I had to learn how to set my life at a certain income, a income rate. So let's say that I'm bringing in $4,000 a month. I set my lifestyle like I was making $2,000 a month. I set my lifestyle like I was $2,000 a month. And then every dollar I made over $2,000 was saved and invested. And then I just kept living life like that moving forward. Yes. So yes, I didn't have live in the best neighborhoods. I didn't have the best things. And then as life went on, all the money I saved. So when I moved here to Florida, I saved and invest. So when I moved here to Florida, I could pay for a house cash. So my $2,000 a month, and Alex, we talk about all the time, how much do it take for me to, to live every day? That's about $2,000 a month. That never changed. Now, the income that I made has grown exponentially way past that. But I learned to save when I had little to no money. So now that the more money I have, I just save it. But people think that, oh, if I can go get a new job, get a higher pay, that I will be able to save money then. If you can't save it when you're, you know, you're making, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars a year, you're not going to be able to save it when you make hundreds of thousand dollars a year. That's why most lottery winners, most lottery systems are in poor neighborhoods. The lottery winners go broke because they don't have the attitude or the financial literacy to understand money will run out. No matter, no matter how much money you have, it's a place on this world to spend it. And then they just keep spending, 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 thinking that it won't run out. Or they think, oh, because I have this X amount of million dollars, I need to live like I have this money. And then they go broke within five, you know, five or 10 years after 
win the lottery. The same thing you see with uh, professional athletes. Most of them go broke or file bankruptcy three to five years after they leave their sports profession because they had they feel like I have to live like I make this money. And what usually happens is they go broke and then everybody's looking at them like, oh man, you had all this money and you lost it? You will lose it too because you don't have the financial literacy or you don't have the aptitude to save money right now, but you think magically you're gonna get a new financial idea of what you got more money and less people can tell you what to do. And that's what usually happens. Yeah, I I mean, th like I said, I mean, this is something that everyone does for the most part. I mean, it's rare that you see people keeping their lifestyle at the same level. Now, it's great when you do hear those people, because obviously you look at their lives and they're doing well financially. And, you know, they're out of debt. They have their investments and such. But for the most people, for, for the most part, most people are spending more and more the more that they make and that's really just the first rule of thumb i think to becoming wealthy to becoming a millionaire is control your spending it's living on less than you make and we've said that countless of times it's you know if you're able to live on less than you make you will be able to enjoy life more especially and i was thinking of this the other day too you had mentioned one time in one of the videos where you said like if you move to an area that isn't as expensive to live because most people prefer to be within the city limits and where all the amenities are if you live outside of the city if you live in a different area that is cheaper to live the money you can save will afford you the ability to do the things that you want to do and it's just because you're keeping your lifestyle expenses lower and most people can't grasp that concept they want it, they think on a and a short-term mentality and just like short-term entertainment they just think about entertaining themselves and not for the long term of their to better their life with all that being said though guys if you like the video hit the like button don't forget to share this video subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one